Britain has around 20 million gardeners nationwide, and likely even more gardens. These green spaces are becoming ever more necessary for animals having to live in a world with increasing human populations. Here's a quick glance into my garden, and just some of its residents. A parasitic wasp searches through the ivy for insects to lay its eggs into. Likely a caterpillar or an aphid, these eggs will hatch inside and then eat the host alive. Ivy is also a common place to find an assortment of flies warming up in the sun. Like other arthropods, they cannot generate their own body heat, and basking is a quick way to raise one's temperature. Because of the abundance of insects and the shelter the leaves provide from the elements, spiders like this eratogena make their homes here, waiting patiently for an insect to make one false step onto its web. Upon the stems and leaves of many plants, different species of aphids drain sap in great numbers. These bugs are able to proliferate despite being easy pickings for predators due to not only being able to reproduce asexually, but being effectively born pregnant. If we take a quick look under this brick, another part of this tiny world is revealed. So, what we have here is actually a group of crustaceans found under a brick in almost any garden in Europe. These said crustaceans belong to the order Isopoda and are commonly known as pillbogs or woodlice. Woodlice are primary decomposers that consume things like leaf litter, old wood, and they return it back to the soil where it's easily taken up by plants and a lot of other organisms. They're a vital part of our ecosystem and should be respected. They also breathe with gills, as I said, they are a crustacean, instead of breathing with spiracles, like a lot of other invertebrates do. But that being said, that means that they can't survive in places with low moisture. Alongside the woodlice under rocks and leaf litter, centipedes hunt for small invertebrates, which may also include the offspring of their own housemates. This crow comes by every day to call on top of our aerial, proclaiming this patch as their territory, demanding other crows to stay out. This area has a canal nearby that helps with providing resources. I've even observed this individual, their mate, and a magpie seemingly working together in an attempt to steal ducklings. This occurred mere meters away from my home, at least as the crow flies. As the sun begins to set, Nocturnal insects like moths, mosquitoes, and midges begin their nightly routine. So do their predators, the bats. There are more than 1,200 species of bats worldwide. They are so successful and numerous, they make up 20% of all classified mammals. The one on this film you're seeing is likely a common pipistrelle, an agile hunter that helps keep the aforementioned insect populations in check. Biodiversity in the UK is sadly extremely low when compared to other temperate climate nations. This is due to hundreds of years of human negligence and encroachment into wild spaces. Though there are a number of things you can do to help your local wildlife. By making a pond, keeping wild plants in your garden, or even allowing patches of lawn to grow wild, you're providing food and homes for numbers of animals, especially insects. By helping them, you can in turn help feed birds and bats, and they will go on to influence the greater ecosystem as a whole. And please remember, just because this is a massive world, and there's always more to see, doesn't mean one person can't make a difference. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.